immigration remains a hot button issue across our area. In Prince William County, some filmmakers are taking the county's heated debate onto the web and their audience keeps growing. The filmmakers behind the interactive documentary say its popularity reflects the complexity and deep-seated concerns about in immigration. In county, it has sparked outrage, now stirring yeah, debates no with this documentary on YouTube. The online movie made the weekly top 20 list on the popular video sharing site. One clip generated 40,000 views just a couple of days. The film 9500 Liberty claims its name from the location of this wall. The filmmakers would normally take months to put together a feature length documentary, but decided to start posting on YouTube immediately. Three weeks ago, we realized that um, we really should be sharing this information with people sooner. They've uncovered a very impassioned audience and an atmosphere of fear and violence. Well, there's one comment in particular that we received online that said something like, Annabelle Park will be dancing from a tree. This is a way for people to learn about the issues without going to a place where there's bound to be conflict. And I think that's the thing that's really missing here, is hearing many voices. The filmmakers say the online format provides a venue for thousands of unheard voices. I saw some of their first few videos, and I was really impressed. And I love the idea of a interactive documentary putting up non-narrated web clips. The site was an important visual for people who you know, had been reading about what was going on, but for the first time could really kind of see it unfolding. And they were able to capture not only you know, some of the key players, but also the site was a, almost an encyclopedia of, of what was happening here. They say this is a political issue and this is about our country, but you know, he immediately pointed the finger at you and wasn't sure whether you spoke English or not. It's so sad. He says, all of a sudden our whole community was turned on its head. When you begin to look into the history of the resolution, you find a lot of backroom dealing out of the public eye. What can we do about this? People were giving us input and becoming part of the story. We became a magnet for people who really wanted to find out what was going on. There was clearly a need for these people to talk to one another, but I asked any number of them if I could interview them for the channel, and they just couldn't do it because they lived near Help Save Manassas members, People were afraid to speak. It was interesting to see them go from being web documentarians of the debate to playing a role because this is a debate and a battle that's playing out online and they have a very strong online presence. The real turning point was when we were invited by the Washington Post and the United States Commission on Civil Rights to speak up. We decided to do it. You know, in part because we felt that we owed it to the people who were contacting us with the very simple question, what do we do? Because we were actually saying, hey, you have to start speaking up. So we felt like the stakes were really high in coming forward. The U.S. Commission on Civil Rights looks at the enforcement of federal civil rights laws and makes recommendations on legislation to the Congress and to the President. What we didn't realize at the time was that we were about to become participants in a kind of courtroom drama in which the immigration resolution, John Stirrup and Corey Stewart were essentially put on trial. Our purpose today is to gather facts on the extent to which the civil rights of residents of Prince William County, Virginia may be adversely affected by measures taken by the County Board of Supervisors.